Howdy. <laughs> I'm Joe. Papa Bear, as other people call me, or Papa Joe. Anyways, today I'm going to give a quick demo of the um, Grease Weasel version 4. It is a um, small little circuit board right here that um, you can plug in a standard PC floppy to. Um, I have to use external power. My USB hub is not pushing out enough uh, amperage to drive the floppy drive, so I have an external uh, 12 volt, 5 volt power supply, even though it requires only 5 volts according to the label. Anyways, I've already got it configured, got the driver set according to the instructions, which I'll link to the GitHub and everything um, on it, and then uh, we'll kind of go from there. So uh, basically what I've got in here is I've got a workbench um, 1.2 disc. We're gonna plug that in. We're gonna configure the um, this um, we have flex my floppy already installed and that's all set to go so what we'll do is we will go down and pick commodore amiga 80 track 880k floppy we'll pick the com port that the device is set on the drive is coming up as drive one and we're going to put this into our uh, archive folder here you can see that there's nothing in that folder right now and we'll call it uh, we'll just call it workbench one two and then this will be an Amiga ADF floppy format. And that's it. So what we'll do is we will plug in this disc. And then we will hit read. It's gonna, it says it can't find the file by default because the grease weasel file I didn't configure properly. So it does find it. So reset the, the head. Now it's reading the floppy. You can see the activity light doing its thing down here. This is so cool. It's neat to see this kind of stuff still being made. I've got this uh, just recently. I've got a pie storm that's super cool. Um, I've got, um, where did it go? It's not right in front of me. There it is. Yeah, I have a um, Burn Amiga 3000 that I've been working on uh, fixing up and, um, and restoring. I've also got um, this Raspberry Pi Zero attached to um, this uh, Amiga video to Pi HDMI card, which goes in the video slot either on a 2000 or a 3000. So I need to 3D print a backplane for it, get that all set up, and then we'll plug that in. But so I, I tested it preliminarily. It's pretty nice. It's really kind of cool because you get super clean HDMI video out. So that'll be another video. So, what a hair in my eye. So that's all done. We'll eject the floppy disk. So that's back out. Okay. And then what we'll do, I have WinUAE set up and configured for a baseline um, uh, Amiga 500. So then we're in that folder. So then we'll go and um, actually here, what we'll do is before we even do that, we'll start the, we'll start this and you'll see. Okay. So we've got workbench. So let's see here. Let's go select a, a floppy file. We got the workbench one, two right there. That's the file. And then we say, okay. And that should go, boop. Yep. So that's loading. You can see there's no activity on this guy down here. It's like going, nope, I got nothing going on. So that's booting up. This is, uh, it's, I've been, I've been involved with uh, Amiga computers since, um, since they came out. I've had Commodore VIC-20s, I've had Commodore 64s, and to see all these come up as they have been over the years, and still being supported, and there's a really big following still for them, so it's awesome to see all this. So, uh, hopefully everybody keeps it going and alive for the next generations and stuff like that, so. Um, and there we go. So we're, we're all booted up. We've got uh, Workbench 1.2, woohoo. It's so slow. PyStorm fixes this though. It's super cool. So we'll just run a real quick demo. I do like boxes. Who doesn't like boxes? And there you go. 
So there you have it. Grease Weasel. I will link a link to the eBay store that I bought it from if anybody is interested. Also the configuration for it. I will probably, I will try to make a video for installing it, although it's pretty straightforward. It's not very complicated. This is a standard out of a PC floppy disk. It is nothing, or floppy drive. Uh, there's nothing that's been modified to this drive whatsoever. It came straight out of a Windows box, plugged it in, and it read an Amiga disk via this device. Super cool. So anyways, um, if you're archiving disk, you know, I've got a, I've got a whole bunch. I've got boxes of these. So I'm going to be working on getting these all backed up and archived, uh, to save them before they get too old. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this is informative to see how quick this does what it does. It, it'll make archiving stuff better. It, it will also write out disk. Um, I have not tried that yet, but I'm pretty sure that it will. Um, but we'll try that and uh, maybe I'll do a follow-up video for that uh, and we'll go from there. So if you like the video, you have suggestions on what I'm doing, I'm still new at this. So don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed it. Um, you know, if you didn't enjoy it, then I understand, but I'm still, bear with me. I'm getting, I'm getting my groove on with this. <laughs> Anyways, have a great day guys. And I will talk to y'all soon. Hopefully take care. Bye.